Hey everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and that you're doing well. For this video, we'll be going through a contents review of the entry grade RX782 Gundam. And this was obviously from Mobile Suit Gundam, where everything all started many, many years ago. And this was released by Bandai Spirits back in 2020. So, firstly, general disclaimer, I'm going through video recording testing again. Um, uh, I've heard the video quality, well, the audio quality from the fake new videos and I was a little disappointed so I'm trying with my Samsung Buds and they're definitely a lot more comfortable. It's nice to be wireless but we'll see how the video goes. Potentially the next video I'm changing it up again but uh, we'll see. Anyway, contents review. So this was a limited edition version of the entry grade so uh, looking at the instruction booklet you'll see here that the uh, Gundam is in red so this was quote-unquote the Christmas color version um, and the reason why I say it was limited edition uh, this and another version, I believe it was the metallic color. I do have it, but I haven't seen it in a while. A review will come out of that later. Um, they came in two cylinder tubs, uh, which was basically a promotion of the, the kit itself in a special variant color. Um, some potato snacks, which were very nice, by the way if you were able to get them in time before they were discarded because of their due dates. Um, what else was included? Uh, it was the kits, the snacks, and obviously the, um, the tub itself, which makes as a nice storage container. Um, possibly for the metallic version, I might actually include that one as a bit of a more of an overarching contents review of what came in that particular Tom, I'll hopefully have some pictures on Instagram, but um, that gives a bit of backstory on it. Um, they were from some time ago now, so I'm just trying to think. Um, I think they came out middle of last year, so it would have been middle of 2020. Um, and I know I sh managed to ship mine over very late in the year, when shipping became available for Australia again because I wanted to get them here in time for the potato snacks otherwise they were going to be discarded um, for being passed their best buy, use by date I, it was one of them I can't remember but that was the backstory of that um, now I have done a review of the light version of the entry grade RX782 um, and if I remember correctly, the light version was basically without the weapons. Uh, so this particular review will actually have the weapons included. So if we have a look at the front of the manual. So here you go, Intergrade RX-782 Gundam, 12144 scale. There's a picture of the actual model itself. Um, as I said, in its more of its uh, Christmas color, which is predominantly red. At the very bottom here, we have the breakdown of the runners. So you have the head, the body, the arms, the waist, and the legs. And you'll see here weapons, which if I remember correctly, uh, this section, and obviously this shield, 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 English, um, are absent in the light version but oddly enough you do get the beam sabers which I can't remember where they are probably somewhere around the body section given that they whack on the backpack um, 
but we'll have a look at that shortly anyway. In fact, it might even be here. Um, so that's what the runners will look like in the various parts. Um, that is the back of the manual, which has the shield, where the shield can attach, right at the back, back in the arm. We'll get back to that in a moment. Um, what do I want to do? This section. So this inner splash page. Um, it's just a brief description of uh, what is Gundam, both in Japanese and English. Um, how you can enjoy Gundam. So if you're in Japan, you would have had some option to watch it on the uh, various channels there. And there is a YouTube channel. And then Gundam Info. Um, Re-Rise was airing at the time. Um, what else do we have here? Bandai Hobby Sites. And just an inch information about what is Gumpla and then how to build things like that so not a bad way to introduce someone uh, who is very much a novice in terms of building kind of kits um, and then although I believe it's now open there's the Gundam factory Yokohama with the one-to-one -one moving RX782 one day I'll see that. Emphasis on one day. So that's the inner side page. Um, pretty much the same inside as the light version. Okay. So now that we've done that, having a look at the inside. Uh, well, before we do that, um, parts list. So it's a multi section segmented A runner and B runner. So the A runner's been watered and the B runner has also been watered. Uh, so one, two, three and four for each. Um, but when we look at it in terms of sizing it is equivalent to a full size runner. Uh, quickly looking through the instructions. Building the head, building the body, building the arms. Um, attaching those, adding the shoulders, the waist, the legs, more legs, and then attaching them, and the weapons, so the beam rifle and the shield. And obviously the colour back that we saw earlier. Um, this will definitely be very fun to build when I get a chance to build it. I quite enjoy the entry grade. Um, and I do have some more plans for that in the near to distant future. Um, but I won't worry about that just yet. So that was the manual. So I guess if we have a look at the runners, so we'll do it as if they were a complete runner. So here we have the giant A runner. Um, A1, A2, 3, and 4. Um, just looking at the whole runner, so we've got um, olive green, I dare say. This uh, darker red burgundy, I would say. Um, Grey, uh, being the majority. I guess these parts over here at the far back. Um, I wonder if there was a color guard. Um, don't mind me, I'll actually see if there was a color guard. I don't actually believe there was. Um, to be honest, if there was, but I don't think there was. No, no color guide. So, how would I describe that color? Um, maybe a brown? Maybe? I guess we'll have a quick look. Um, I'll move that one out of the way. So there's A1, A2. So that um, 
olive green on A1, the darker red, the grey, and I guess you could say it's a bit of a brownish colour here um, for these other parts. So that's A1, A2. I'll just put that to the side. Um, A3 and A4. So a bit more green, a lot more grey, and a bit more of that, um, I guess we will call brown for the time being. That's not too bad. I got some uh, very nice details, and in fact, this is my first time really looking at the uh, beam rifle, and it's definitely got some good detailing on it, given that it's literally one, two, three pieces. So that'll be fun to actually build this time around. That was the A roll. In terms of the B, so if I put these together, um, watch my OCD completely override everything in life. Um, that would be the complete B runner, um, and much like the A, as I mentioned earlier in the parts breakdown. Uh, it's broken into four pieces, B1, B2, B3, B4. Um, unlike the A runner, this is all the one colour, so this is all red. Um, so if we put that to one side, let's have a look at B1, B2. So definitely head, arms, waist, um, and shoulders. And the interior of the shield. And if we look at B3, B4, that will be the legs, feet, and there you go, beam saber handles. Um, actually, and on the note of the beam saber handles, although this version of the RX782 comes with the shield and beam rifle, there are no included beam sabers. But if I remember correctly, these are the circular ones. Um, which you can just make out there. So, with that being said, if you have the circular ended uh, beam sabers, which um, I would imagine by now you would, if you've been doing this for some time, you'll probably have a few spare. As for what colour, I armor say a yellow might be good for this one or a green I actually might have to see if I can find some various colors um, I actually hadn't thought about what being say the color I would have just done the standard and then thought hang on this is a recolor maybe it wouldn't be the standard so that's the B roll okay so that brings an end to the RX-72 Gundam, the 144 entry grade in the Christmas colors. Um, I know it will be a very quick build. Uh, it's just a case of finding the time to do it because we all know uh, my scheduling was not the best, but I thought I'd do this as a quick video because I it, it's been on the cards to do. Um, I did want to do another sound check test uh, with a different device. Um, so we'll see how things go. Potentially I will be switching devices for the next video. I hope not. This is actually quite comfortable. I do enjoy the uh, lack of a wire in front of my face. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below and a like if you enjoyed this content. Subscribe if you wish to follow my channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, link in the description down below. Thanks again for your support to help grow this channel. Stay safe and take care and I will catch you in the next video. See ya.